Hey, uh, it's Randy Wedek from Banpro Film and Digital. Welcome to our open house 2016. I'm here with our great guest of honor, Pierre William Glenn, veteran of many terrific French films, and uh, he's, he's a DP for Francois Truffaut and many other French filmmakers, and it's just such an honor to have you here, and we're, we're really happy to have you here, but talking to you sounds like you're having a pretty good time, and you're like, you've experienced this kind of fellowship in France, and you can see it here too as well. Yeah, it's a great honor for me too, you know? It's a great honor because uh, the link, the relation between France and America is at the base of the movie, you know? It's right. always the same. Uh, we're talking, yeah, we have a great admiration in, in, in France for uh, uh, American DPs, and uh, I'm very proud to see that uh, the French cinema is well known in America. We had a French bunch of D French DPs. It goes back today. to like Cahiers du Cinema yeah, and like, yeah, and, and I, like in Breathless when he's while looking at Fr uh, Humphrey Bogart and all that stuff. It's sure. a new wave and it's very, uh, it's wonderful to see all those posters of French movies. You see uh, Godard movies in the TVs and, and Francois Truffaut films and Le Mépris and uh, you know it's yeah, no, we had a really good time putting all that together. As you know, we have that kind of event in, uh, at the end of January called the Micro Salon. And the same thing, we, uh, we, we started it 20, 26 years ago. It was a very, very little event. And it was, the idea was that to uh, uh, talk uh, uh, DPs together about the way we are making films, you know. And Did you was, go to that one? Yeah, I, 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 I invented it. Micro Salon you know, one. I, 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 the, 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 the first event was, uh, you know, uh, I founded, I was one of the founders, we are four at that time, I founded the French Association. It's like it, 1980 or something it, like it, that? 89, 89. We founded, yeah. yeah. And uh, we started, we are five, six, and ten. Now, today, it's uh, we are uh, 130 DPs, French DPs. Cool. And uh, I'm going to report to tell, uh, will tell them, Great. and do uh, an article about the this uh, this thing. I'm very happy. You know, the, the, the same same language. You know, we're talking the same language yeah. here. You know, it's the language of cinema. The same. It's very moving. I enjoy that. Uh, I, I talked to my coworker Brett, and he said that you are involved with kind of like a standards bureau or sort of like a French version of Simpty, that kind of thing, and like you. Yeah, yeah. You're concerned with the quality of projection in the cinema and all that. Yeah, yeah, but the same. It's not the same. Uh, it's not in France. The, the 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 cinema is alive because of the state. You yeah. know, because it's a it's a it's a will of the state to to help culture and to have a, a, it's more much more central centralization is uh, more obvious in France. You know, and we have I'm elected to be the president of the CST, meaning Commission. Superior Technique, uh, Superior Technical Commission, and we are making the rules of the screenings, uh, all the rules of the theater, and <coughs> we are giving uh, the okay for the opening of all the theaters yeah. in France. It's, it's a, very like state-based. It's like, state-based, yeah. state-based, and it, it was, it is very helpful for the quality of the screenings, you know, and that's why it, we have the, uh, the, the, the Cannes Film Festival as a president of the CST, I'm the technical director of the Cannes Film Festival. It's the, 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 the wow. big president. Yeah. Means, yeah, you have to, so you're, you're sort of like the uh, authority uh, of projection environments yeah, 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 in yeah, France. Yeah, yeah, Amazing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And that uh, obviously the result is uh, the, 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 the quality of uh, the Cannes Film Festival, the projection. Yeah, it's because, the best. Yeah, and, uh, wow. that's, uh, that's really Very, neat. It's uh, uh, exhausting, but it's a good. Uh, yeah, I, I like do you, it. Are you? Do you get involved with like laser projection yeah, and yeah, 4K sure. projection yeah, and all that now. stuff? Yeah. yeah. What are oh. the like theatrical trends yeah. for a presentation that you? Yeah. Yeah. What have you seen that's like really impressive? Or the what do you? What do you? Future for the laser. We are testing now the laser uh, projectors now, and uh, we've done tests two years ago, and I'm. Um, back from China uh, uh, for the screening on uh, large, large uh, uh, screens. 
and they have a, uh, they, they, they want to, 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 to deal with us with the CST. Great. Yeah, there's been, I mean, my personal, like the most breathtaking stuff I've seen theatrically besides 70 millimeter was laser projection. And like, I, I, I finally got on board with digital projection when I saw that and I was like, wow, that's so much contrast and like the color is so rich. Yeah, yeah, it's the next future. Yeah, next future. And, it, and it can be, it manages, it can like really fill a huge fill, screen fill with, screen, with a lot yeah, of brightness. Yeah. Well, uh, have you seen any uh, interesting equipment here? Are you checking out any of these lenses or the cameras and stuff? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a brand new stuff with old stuff uh, 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 with a, a, a new, how do you say that? A new face uh, on it? Yeah. Uh, uh, it's, it's, uh, I like the idea of uh, old things, you know, old things. Well, yeah, I mean, that, I feel like optics is like kind of the same thing, you know, the it's like and, optics and doesn't move at the same speed as computer chips. You know, it's like mathematics and it's kind of like... Uh, oh, it, it's uh, out of fashion, you know, it, uh, it's out of fashion. I'm a, uh, we have a partnership at the French Cinema School and at the CSC also with Ingenieux, you know, right. the, the French Zooms and, uh, uh, and uh, my students are going two weeks every year, you know, at the factory at Saint-Étienne to, 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 to work a uh, wide screen, to work on uh, wow. wide screen. Wow, that's uh, fascinating. With, with and then, lenses. is that near Lyon? It's near uh, Saint-Étienne. Okay. Saint-Étienne, Saint-Étienne it's called, Saint-Étienne. Yeah. Factory, brand new, working mainly for the army. At Ingenieur. Ingenieur, yeah. Making really like night, military... Night, night, night stuff, night yeah. uh, all, all, all awesome. things for the army. Yeah. yeah. But uh, they are doing, uh, I think, the. The, the zooms, they are doing light zooms. Yeah. Very, uh, yeah, I'd like to get your opinion on those easy zooms that we're releasing at some point. They're really neat. I mean, I, I projected them, and I in an intense projection environment, we could tell them apart from Optimos, for mm -hmm. sure. Yeah, but I mean, for the, the price versus the performance on them, it's just, I think it's pretty amazing. Because they, they feel like they have an ingenue look to them still. It's not like a complete sacrifice just made, you know? I feel like there's actually some spirit in these lenses. It's not just like cheap replica technology. It's, uh, yeah, it's a friend of mine. Uh, uh, he was a former assistant camera, uh, uh, Jean-Yves Le Poulain. He's in charge of the, the, the to the lab, you know? The, oh, the really? He helped, yeah. It's a movie guy, you know? He worked That's uh, 40 really years. unique in my experience looking at the people that work at optical engineering firms are generally speaking not people that have on set time. And that's, that's really unique. That's very cool. I think it comes across in the product too then, because they're like, they're cinematic. Yeah. Um, yeah, I guess uh, I just really want to thank you for coming you out come here. In, you come in France for oh, the yeah, Micro Salon? I, I have no? to. For have to. Micro Salon? Yeah. You have to. I, okay. You heard you it here, to. I have to. You have to. Can you, before we go, I guess, can you, I mean, we've, we were, a lot of people are really familiar with classic French cinema, mm -hmm. but do you have any recommendations for recent films in the last couple of years that people should check out? Because I know yeah, everybody yeah, knows, like, you know, they all yeah, know, like, the new wave, Breathless the new and all that in, stuff, in, in but, in like, cinema. I feel there like there's are, some really interesting most films. Most of the, uh, 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 the new wave is at the Femis, you know. Most of the students there, they are uh, 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 they are very successful with their first or second movie. You know, uh, a, a golden camera in Cannes. The prize was given to a, a, a film uh, 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 coming from uh, the Femis, and they are uh, the same idea, the same mood uh, that the new wave had. Meaning, staying together, a crew right. coming together, and that's how uh, like director, Micro Salon came uh, together, yeah, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. And, uh, uh, DPs, art directors, editors, sound men, and, 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 uh, and directors. I think all together, and it's a very good thing also uh, uh, from the, the, the school. Meaning the idea of Cahier du Cinéma uh, 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 of the 50s, 60s, the same principle. People uh, 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 sharing the same uh, uh, passion for movies. Right. The same, the same feeling. And like, well, back then it was like, we should treat cinema as if it is a fine art. And that was like a brand new idea. 
and like we should it apply the, brand new ID and the same art laws of artistic criticism to that. With modesty and a simple, you know, uh, my, 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 the, the man uh, who took me in the, in, 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 in the movies was Raoul Kouta, just died, you know, and uh, no way, the ID wow. was not a master because we shared the same gaffer at the beginning. I started very young using his equipment. He was your mentor? Yeah, a uh, mentor, uh, more than that, a friend, you know. And at the beginning, Kuta was not, uh, 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 they didn't like you know, the industry. That's at that time. Really legendary, it's, wow. Uh, it's awful. It's, and he sort of passed the uh, Truffaut and torch the most, onto you, the, right? He's the most uh, well-known, uh, 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 maybe DP in the world, you know, he just died. But he had a tough time, you know, with critics at the beginning, with a profession against him, you know. He was one of the first camera operator and DP at the same time. And at that time, it was tough, it was forbidden, you know, saying... To be a visual auteur, as opposed to just being like, the director yeah. owns everything, right? A, 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 for them... Uh, he had a style. Yeah, he, he had a style. And then, when I started young, yeah, uh, the, it was a, 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 an insult for most of the people of the profession, saying I was a son of Raoul Kouta, and I was very proud of it. You know, was very proud of Some it. Some people wanted to say that as an insult or something to yeah, you? Yeah, at that time, yeah. And you were like, damn Definitely. right, yeah. Damn right I am, right, I get it. Well, that's cool, and he sort of like passed the torch with Truffaut onto you, yeah, right? Yeah, like, and I, I call him when, when Truffaut asked me, to, 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 to work with him. I Did that start with Day for Night? Uh, no, that started for such a gorgeous kid like me uh, two years before. And, uh, and, and uh, I asked him uh, if to is give this me cool? permission. Yeah. Yeah. Is, is it cool for me to do that? You know, And I, I call him also for State of Siege. He yeah. worked with Costa Gavras. Right, I was going to ask and, you about uh, that. And, uh, he did I Z, right? For, yeah, uh, we, he did Z and uh, the confession, uh, Naveu. Uh, and uh, uh, ask him for the permission. He was, and we, we, we became like good dating, friends. Dating someone's ex-girlfriend or something, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Is it possible <laughs> you know, to have permission? And he was not a master, but he was very, very simple. Direct, you know, simple relation. No bullshit, nothing, yeah. you know. And uh, forget the secrets. Forget the secrets uh, all DPs had, you know, with uh, those... Uh, 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 all the secrets. Like in, the book uh, in, that's in, locked yeah, up. Lock, or lock, lock, lock. Yeah. Uh, but you guys sound like you had a really sharing relationship, like having the same gaffer and yeah, like sharing say, directors and stuff. Because at the beginning, I had, for my first shorts, I had his equipment, his, his uh, equipment and the same gaffer. I started with that, you know, and uh, obviously... And these are was, like cameras and lenses that are coming off of legendary films and they're going onto your short film. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a lot of pressure. And I, and I, yeah, yeah. And I started, and the, the, this uh, handheld camera, you know, at that time it was something uh, they despised. NPR, the, the like what were you guys using back then? Uh, uh, the, the first feature I made, uh, all, all the film handheld, you know, the, uh, the famous Rivet movie, Out One, all handheld, the old film, the old, the old feature. And uh, in, in Death or Night, you have uh, one third of the film, which is an L. Right. And you don't, you don't see that very, uh, it's not obvious, you know. Right. The Steadicam did not exist at that time. I feel as if the art of invisible handheld has been diminished some in the last decade or two. Obvious handheld, sort of like very <laughs> shaky yeah. stuff, but like, I feel like artistic gliding handheld is kind of not used as much anymore. But uh, it has something to do with ergonomics and the way cameras fit on your body and stuff like that. I feel like we're moving towards an area in which cameras are becoming more better designed to be held on the body. Felt like for a while everything was a shoebox. And now I feel like people are designing yeah, cameras a little bit better. Also for the, the F65, now there is a version easier to handheld. You know, the, the French version of the, of the F65. You know, really? It cut the front, yeah. It's a, yeah What's different about it? Uh, it's a, it cut the front. Okay. The old, no shutter on the front? No shutter. No shutter. They took, and it's lighter. It's not, yeah. And it's, uh, it's, 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 it's wonderful. That's great. Yeah, you're one of the, I mean, I know in France, like the F65 is 
having a, like another renaissance basically there. For me, uh, yeah, for, yeah? for me. Yeah, for me, it's a renaissance. I know? mean, I, I was involved in the rolling out of the F65. We were the exclusive reseller here at Bampro, and I shot some of the first footage. And when I, we did the tests and we shot it, I was like, oh my god, this is the most accurate camera ever designed. Like, and I feel like many other cameras, you can, they have a look to them, but the F65 is just so accurate. It's yeah. crazy. Yeah, everything is accurate. You have the best viewer. Yeah. Yeah. The viewer is, and and the, all, the the camera is. Yeah. Uh, oh, and it's, it's, it's 4K, a, 4K 16 bit. Like it's it's an extremely modern format still. That's really it's, interesting. Uh, it's uh, the the feeling. It's made by uh, people of uh, uh, working with cameras. You know? Before that, before that, we had the feeling of. Uh, uh, boxes, plastic boxes, put television on, camera uh, that's been uh, 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 put on a, uh, on, a uh, on a computer. Yeah. Before that, you know, plastic, all full. Uh, 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 the heat of the camera, you know, the, 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 that's uh, now uh, Alexa and F65. But F65 for me is much better. Oh, that's fantastic. For me, for me, that's my. Idea. I really like that camera. I think it's, I think it's still very, very, very modern camera. Thank you for this time. Thank you. Thank you, and, a pleasure. Uh, we will meet again. Great pleasure, we'll meet again. And thank you for coming to the open house, and it's just, it's been an honor.